Hello, my dragon family. It is Friday and I love to go live on Thursday or Friday and just talk about dragons, connect with you guys, answer questions sometimes. And um, I know we have quite a few new people in the group. Welcome, welcome. My name is Araya Anra and I am a psychic medium. I'm an energy healer and a life coach. And a lot of times in that work, the dragons come in. And so I'm also a dragon master and that uh, started back in about 2005 is when they started coming into my healing sessions. And all that story can be seen, hi Nikki, um, all that can be seen in the video archives of the group, um, chapters one, two, and three of my story. And it might be fun for you to go back and watch those being new in the group. Um, only to help you understand or see in your own journey some of the experiences that are happening for you that you've been uncomfortable sharing or feeling like you're alone. Uh, maybe you want to understand what other people go through. So it might be fun for you to go back and watch those. Um, and today I want to talk about fear. Fear with the dragons. Ah, you know, are we terrified of them? And that experience is what some people go through the first time that they have a dragon come into their field. And if you're a psychic, an empath, um, hi Kayla, nice to see you. If you have any um, internal intuitive abilities, and so that's usually the people that start experiencing dragons, you can feel them in your field, you have them popping in all around you, maybe you experience one in a dream or meditation. And um, for some people that first experience, and maybe all of their experiences, is bringing on fear, and they don't know how to move through that they don't know what to deal how to deal with that and so I want to just talk about that a bit because you're not alone that's pretty normal especially the first time it happens um, but there could be deeper stuff going on so how do we move through it so um, one of the pieces with fear is part of the reason that the dragons were so feared and actually you know they're one of the most incredibly loving beings and protective beings out there in the universe and when you start to work with them and really understand that energy, you start to understand why they went into hiding. They were misunderstood. And just like any animal, when we attack or go at them, they get defensive, right? And there's, let's see, Teresa's my herself is a dragon. And she told me this morning that we are about to merge together. Beautiful. That's exciting because uh, when you really connect to that, man, your life changes. And that's what the Dragon Heart Program is all about. And I'll talk about that near the end of the uh, few minutes here. But um, continuing on with that fear, there was a pattern of fear in the collective for years and years. And all the movies about, you know, dragons taking princesses away and the knights having to go slay them and the whole mentality of dragon hunters. And that whole era on the planet was about when we went into our darker self and our fears because we weren't able to love ourselves. We weren't able to look and feel the incredible love that the dragons hold. And so we resisted. We went into fear ourselves of them and thus hunted them, thus wanted to hurt them. So when you feel fear, when a dragon first comes into your field, that's rising up in you again. It can be your own experience in the past with them, or it can be part of the collective that's also triggering it to a greater response within you. And what I encourage you to do on that first level is sit and just breathe. Because anytime we can sit and breathe and go internal and really feel what's going on, we can tune into where the fear is sitting in our body. You can actually do a body scan and start to feel where it's locked in your body, and then you can focus your breath into that space. So say you feel a dense pocket when you tune in just under your heart or maybe right under your ribs or down in the lower abdomen on one of the other sides. If you can feel that area in the body that's um, feeling more dense or lighting up when you just tune in and say, okay, where in my body is this hitting? And all of a sudden you have a realization, oh, it's in my spleen or it's in my stomach or you know, whatever it might be. Focus your breath as you're inside on sending the breath into that space because what the breath and the fo focus of consciousness does is helps expand that space. It helps it stretch out and, and work through being able to dissolve it. And you'll start to see that fear lessen. And if you can invite yourself into that fear, but also invite that dragon that triggered it for you to just sit and maybe not directly in your space, but say, okay, I'm really afraid of you. I want to work through this. So would you just be in my field so that I can still be triggered enough to work through it, but that way I can see if I'm having any reactionary difference 
if I can lessen my fear of you so that I might actually get to know you or invite you to work with me. Um, and that's the first level is just going in and starting to breathe with it. And when you can move through to a softening level where maybe there's still a bit of fear in you, but um, you're feeling a little more comfortable with it and you can invite that dragon to get a little closer, start tuning into the dragon's rhythm of breathing. There we go. We're back on. Sorry about that. Sometimes internet signal gets really iffy. So um, if you can invite your dragon in to sit near you and start tuning into the rhythm of their breath, and maybe it's not your dragon, maybe it's a guide that's working with you right now. We do all have dragon guides. Well, a lot of humanity has dragon guides. Um, almost everyone in this group, because you have a passion for dragons, most likely has a dragon guide. Um, some of you are dragons and that's different and you might want to go back and watch the Dragon Keepers versus Dragon Hearts video that I did. Um, but sitting with that and just feeling that dragon presence, whether it's an aspect of yourself or whether it's a guide or just a dragon that's come in to trigger you into something. Maybe they're just curious. Maybe they want to just know you. Maybe they want to teach you something. There's always a reason that they're there. So when you're sitting with it, try and tune into the rhythm of their breathing. And as you can focus on that and feeling the rhythm of their breathing, you're going to start connecting to a bigger energetic part of yourself and you'll feel an opening and a release. And when you can get to that space, you'll watch your fear dissipate. And the beautiful thing about that is not only are you helping heal that fear in you, but each time one of us does, we heal a piece of the collective energy of fear around that. And that's how we're going to expand and be this army of light, this dragon army rising that walks with the star beings, that walks with the angel beings in this wave of light and love that is coming across the planet and is about healing and moving us into the next expansion of our existence, of our humanity. And... Uh, the ascension process is where we're headed and the dragons are that's what they're here for that's all they are holding our matrices and there's a whole bunch more information about this in the book but they are holding those matrices in place and they are the keepers of our light bodies they are the keeper cheese keepers of the matrices that are helping us bring that next level of light in for us and for gaia and when we can do that we're going to actually hop to the whole next dimension and Gaia is going to be able to be released from being within the planet. Her light body will ascend as well. So what other fear aspect is there? Sometimes when a dragon comes in, they're triggering fear. It's not just about that collective. It's not just a piece within you that you can breathe through easily. Sometimes there's a very real fear in it because that dragon might be an aspect of you. And when you connect with that dragon energy again, there's so much residual fear in your field, whether karmically from lifetimes, either as human connected to that dragon or as dragon. There are many people who are embodiers of dragons who have had lifetimes as dragons. And in those lifetimes, there was persecution and abuse and shackling and chains and torture and pain and imprisonment. And so all of those things there might be a piece in there for you that's part of that fear rising that, oh my gosh, what, this dragon is coming in and they're going to trigger me into some freaky thing and whoa, this, this is bringing on too much. Part of you is remembering being shackled, being imprisoned, being stoned, being hunted and chased. That has to be moved through for your ascension process. If it wasn't coming in, and if those are triggering you when you go, you know, if these are lighting up for you as I talk about it, there's probably a piece there for you. And in that fear place, you're going to help move through it by breathing with that dragon, but also starting to tune in deeper. Okay, where am I feeling the shackles? Where am I holding myself back in my journey forward as a human right now because of my fear of imprisonment again? And a lot of us don't want to talk about our dragon stuff with our families, with our friends, we're afraid to be exposed exactly for those reasons held in the subconscious. We're afraid of being imprisoned again. We're afraid of being shackled again and chained. You know, a lot of, a lot of you might have memory or memory come in as we talk about it and trigger this into your consciousness over the next weeks of dreams coming in. Absolutely, Teresa, let those tears up and out. Just breathe through it. Way to go. Your dragon is definitely ready to merge with you if this is triggering and you are already in tears. Allow that to happen. Allow that release because we are emotional beings. Hi, Amy. Um, so powerful and present, nothing like I have ever experienced. Yes, and that's the next level of fear I'm going to talk about is the power piece. Um, 
So moving through those emotions, we're human beings. Even if we've been dragon before, we chose to come and experience being human because we get to experience emotion. Humanity is one of the only experiences in the universe or multiverses of the level of emotional gamut of experience that we can have. And that's why God created us in this way with all these emotions. And we learn to stuff them, we learn to hold them back, we learn not to release them, and we never progress when those are held in us. So that's a lot of the work that I do in one-on-one -on -one sessions is helping people move through and bring that emotional blockage up and out, whether it's from this lifetime or previous lifetimes. And as we move it forward, our whole journey expands. So in that piece, the memories of being shackled, and it, you know what, if you're seeing in your life that I know I can't even post about dragons, uh, I don't want my friends to see my posts, maybe you have a surname or a pseudonym that you go by to, to post all the stuff that you don't want your friends seeing, start to look at that because if you are afraid of your friends knowing your real self, knowing the truth about you, are they really your friends? Or do you need to start shifting your relationships? Or do you just not start need to start living in your truth in a way that you can gently expose them to that because some of your friends who are unaware of what you're really living through might be going through the same thing. And your journey might expand them or trigger them into opening up to their own truths, whether it be dragons, whether it be fairies or unicorns or whatever they experience. And it might bring you closer. And uh, I know that part of my piece in the last year was moving through that fear, moving through my fear of really going big with the dragons. I played a small for a lot of years. I put them on the shelf for a lot of years. And a year and a half ago, Spirit came around and said, it's time to go back into your healing work. It's time for you to get back on the, on the playing field because there's a lot happening energetically and the dragon's time is now and you're one of the key players. You're the one to bring this, this information through and awaken a whole bunch of people so my goal is to get this group from 400 to 4,000 to 40,000 to where we're actually having reunions of dragon family in stadiums where we can go and all meet and have fun and play and also have a mass awakening at once. That I want to be able to hold the energy of that many beings having an awakening experience energetically to their next level. Maybe a piece of your light body coming in all at once. That's where I'm headed, that's my goal. So let's help build it. Let's get the people out there that are involved with dragons to find us. Yes, I can see that I need you at this time. <laughs> Yay, Teresa, I'm so happy to know you. So glad you found the group. So the last fear, the power piece that uh, Amy just brought in, and thank you, Amy. Amy's our gal from the South, and I love that because I was actually born in Jackson, Mississippi, and she can relate to that. Um, and a lot of my early childhood was in New Orleans. And uh, so big journey there, totally off track, going into the power piece. Another piece of why we go into fear is not just about being shackled, but about our power. Because when we are in our true dragon self, we are ultimately powerful. And there's a fine line between power and misuse of power. And when we step into our power again, we have to be fully aligned this time around because many of us fear Stepping into that because of the number of lifetimes, some of you remember in Atlantis, some in Lemuria, some way back beyond that Egyptian, when you were in your dragon aspect or connected to your dragons in a human form where you were very powerful and used that power to influence negatively, to do harm, where maybe you started on the right side of the pendulum and you got swayed by an ever gentle nudging to go over the border. So that's where we start to align and get afraid of our power. And because the dragons realign us with our power, they help move all the pieces out of our body that are keeping us from being fully empowered, living in the moment, living in joy, living in ecstatic energy, and freedom of choice and freedom of being. And we're terrified of it. So tune in to those three different aspects. What If you are being triggered in fear with a dragon coming to you, Try and get clarity about what that is. If you need help, we can get online, we can do session. I work remotely all over the world. I have clients from Australia to South Africa to Europe and the UK to Canada. I love that. That's why it's Invoke Healing International because uh, I speak French. I work with clients everywhere and it's my joy. It's my passion to help people move through those pieces. And I have one-on-one -on -one sessions. I have 12-week programs. 
The Way of the Dragonheart program is kicking off in less than two weeks. I'm thrilled to pieces. It is a nine month journey for nine souls. That's really a deep dive. And it's for those that are maybe even new to the journey of opening, but, um, oh, absolutely. I'm so grateful for you to be saying those things, Teresa. It's, I totally believe in synchronicity. I believe in our guides crossing paths at the exact right time with every piece of information we need to go forward. So I'm so glad you're aware of it and, and made your way here. Uh, and for the others too, that on the playback, this might be triggering in the same way. Um, so the Dragonheart program is going March 21st to December 21st, and it is going to be a powerhouse. It's going to be something that takes people into new places within themselves. Um, it is a serious commitment on all levels that the, the need for it, the way it's designed is for those nine to really go deep, to really be fully committed and fully opening in their journey and it's going to change their lives. It's going to probably take you into different work or different levels of healing work if you're already a healer. Um, but really, really expanding into all that you can be in those nine months and how much of your light body you can anchor. So that is full board. I'm full on in interviews. If it's triggering you or you want an application, do not waste any time because like I said, we start in 10 days. Um, oh, well, on the 21st, so about 11 days. And uh, when the nine spots are full, they're full. And um, that is starting to happen. It's unfolding and it's beautiful and I'm so excited. Um, that said, if that's not the program for you, and it might not be, there are going to be other programs designed um, late in the year. There are going to be other book clubs also started. Um, we are just finishing next Tuesday's the last round or last week of this current round of book club. It has been an incredible journey. We've had 11 people in it, which was so fun from Spain to California. And um, that has been just a great group dynamic. And the meditations have been super powerful and I know that everyone's getting a lot out of it and just clearing and integrating and usually for the two days before and the two days after they're dreaming about stuff and feeling stuff and going, whoa, I thought this was just a book club. <laughs> the dragons are never just a book club. They're never just a simple thing. They are full board in everything they do. They love shortcuts, they love efficiency and they don't like to waste time, especially when where we're at on the planet it's urgent to move forward into our truest selves. So um, if any of those interest you, you want more information, there's posts about all of them throughout all the discussions. You can maybe do a little search in the group uh, or on if you go to the At The Dragon Within uh, ebook and CD page, you can find out more about getting the book. You can find out more about the book club. It's been listed under there, the Dragonheart program. And you can always message me or email me directly, Araya at invokehealing.com or Araya at dragonwithin.com. And um, I hope this was helpful. I'm so glad you guys popped on. I know that I don't announce times on Thursday or Friday when I'm going live because I allow this and the dragons to be totally synchronistic, totally spur of the moment spontaneous. And I love that when I decided I need to go live and I need to talk about this right now. I looked at my phone and it was 11.33. So it took me a couple minutes to actually get the camera and the tripod and everything together, but it was just divinely guided. So I hope that um, it led you somewhere. And Teresa, please feel free to email me so that we can get in touch and figure out what program or guidance would be perfect for you right now. I would love to work with you. So have a great Friday and a great weekend. Uh, we're hitting some spring weather, so definitely ready for that even though we haven't had a very tough winter here. I know the East Coast is getting pummeled right now storm after storm so our hearts are with you but um, anywhere else in the world I hope when you watch the replay that we you felt us including you in this and that if you're triggered need questions answered please feel free to post them in the comments or message me directly. Have a fabulous one and I will see you next time. Bye!